Oh, I can never sit to with this camera. As you can see, whatever. Mm. Alright, so this is me. <laughs> Alright, now that piece of embarrassment over all the way. Let's start my review. I have a new up update for you guys, and uh, kind of really needed to do one because got a lot of stuff. I'm using my friend's camera right now because mine is broken once again. Uh, so I know it's not the best, but please bear with me. So, number one, um, I, uh, for my update, I got an Aria Darkness trading card series. I've got, got the basic card set. So, this is by, by Dynamite Entertainment slash Dynamite Forces. And it's basically, it's just like a compilation of cards from the movie, but if you move along along to the end, you also got comic books. So it's done by the comic book company. And uh, behind every single card, there's like a little bit tidbit written, something like this card, this artwork was featured on so-and-so issue, or it just kind of says something really joyous about whatever scene the card depicts. Like, for this one it says, uh, a new weapon. Replacing his chainsaw, Ash himself forged a new and mighty weapon, a middle hand. So, we, <laughs> it's like cheesy crap like that. Um, I wanted to get this, obviously, as a collector's item. Uh, nothing really else special about it. I actually wanted this binder more than the cards themselves. Uh, this binder is not easy to come across, believe it or not. It's for any of Army Dark Darkness fan who's like a completist and... This binder is something that's actually really hard to get a hold of. And what's even harder to get a hold of other than the binder is the signed version. You can get signed versions of the binder, so that would probably be a lot of money on eBay. I paid a really good price for this. Now, you could buy the card separately in a sealed box, and there, every single box had something different. What, mine came with three Glow to the Dark cards. There's six in total, and it came with the box topper card. Um... There's other cards you can get, but I didn't get any of them, I guess, because they just didn't have them in the auction, the guy who was selling it. I don't really care be about being a completist. I found out that actually most of them are just the same cards as this basic 72 that you have here, except Bobby's sign by, like, the actor. Except for Bruce didn't do any, but they'll be signed by so-and-so, and then you have different versions of it signed, like one signed with red and one signed with blue. Like, I really don't care about that. So... Item number one. Alright. Let's get this one out of the way real quick. New DVD. Yeah, like I just don't ever stop buying new ones. This is the collector's edition by Blue Sky. Um, it's from Australia, if you're wondering. The reason why I got this. As it says, uh, everything, all the features in the back. This one has an over hour long interview with Bruce. Exclusive. No other edition has. And it's a telephone interview, which means you don't see shit. You can't, I don't know if you can pause or anything, but, so you just have to sit and listen to it. So that's why I bought that, and I watched the, I listened to the interview. It was fun. I got this. Now this, I have no idea if I even will touch this. Um, if anyone is familiar with role-playing games, then you obviously know what this is, but if you're not... You can buy books that teach you how systems of how playing role-playing games. I've never played role-playing games before. Oh, uh, my God. What do I do? <laughs> but, but, I did want this as a collector's item. And I do, I did want to officially own every single type of game you can get for the Evil Dead trilogy. Which is sad, because if any of you are fans, you may know that a new game is coming out for the iPhone. Which ticks me off, because I don't have an iPhone, what can you do, right? I'm gonna try to stalk a friend who has one and then play it off their phone or something. I don't even know if I have any friends who has an iPhone. So this it's a really beautiful book though. I, I'm a sucker for artwork and designing and anything like that. And they have characters drawn in here, see if I can find some. Uh, yeah, folk hero. <laughs> Game designer, gladiator, gunslinger. 
Hollywood dick. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I don't know if I'll ever read this. I probably will, knowing myself. I'll probably just be extremely curious and read this. As you can tell, it's, yeah, not in the best condition. But, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I wanted it. I've actually been hunting this for a very, very long time. It took me a long time to get this. And there's no, it's not like there's not a lot on the internet. It's just that they... Just outside the range I'm willing to pay for. So, it's a role-playing game. Next! Another really, really old collectible. Now, if you guys watched my first video, you should have seen that I also already have a model kit that's painted and everything, but it's not an official one. It's a garage model kit, which means it's like, it's made by someone else. It's a copy of the original. This is the original! So, I actually won this. The funny story about how I won this. I went on eBay and I was watching it. And I wasn't even too serious because I didn't think I was going to bid on it because you half the time things that I watch just go way too over the price I'm willing to pay. And I just happened to log in on eBay and it was finishing in 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, and it was actually at a really low price. I was really surprised. I bid and I won. So, here's the box. Not in the best condition, but... As you can imagine, it's really, really not easy to find one in such a good condition when they're really so old. So this is the Screaming Model Kit. I know I didn't really mention uh, before the Army of Darkness role-playing game. I, sh I should have mentioned it's by Eden Studios. So here it is, partially painted, so I don't have to do all the work. I will eventually get to this one day. <laughs> Chainsaws are already all done. Yeah, it's very old. As you can see, after from being old, there's like spots missing, they're not done yet. <laughs> there are actually alternative images, I think it's the name of the company, that has a lot of Evil Dead Army of Darkness kits, but they're ridiculously rare, and they're like a smaller company, so not too many people even know them. And as you can see, yeah, it's really old. Look at this. Yeah. This is how you do it. <laughs> I don't have a hobby knife, or a blow dryer, or super glue. I need to buy all this stuff. <laughs> he's bold, he's brash, he's ash! By Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Here comes the modern day zombie killer extraordinaire, Ash! I love these write-ups they do, they're so hilarious. While on vacation at a remote cabin, this mild-mannered Esmar employee stumbled across an ancient book, the Necromonicon, and his life has never been the same since. This volume bound in human flesh and inked in human blood controls the dark forces of man's domain. This prophecy warns us that every seven thousand years an average man is tested, called upon to detend the world from its terrors of the deadites. This time, it's Ash. Yeah, so there's more stuff. I'm not going to read it all. There's like that. So, and it's Horror Series number 11. I know it's Screaming did a lot. I think they had one for Pinhead, one for Jason. They had a whole ton. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a Pinhead bracelet. I love this thing. Found it in a Chinese import store. I swear they have everything there. Put this back. This all back. And I still have one last thing to show you guys. I see my feet there. I don't care. This one I showed last just because a lot of people really love this thing. I'm so happy I got it. it okay. It's a Mighty Mugs! Mighty Mugs. I love Mighty Mugs. Now, if you don't know what Mighty Mugs is, it's a line by Hasbro. Um, but if you also know anything about Mighty Mugs, you'll know there is no such thing as an Ash Mighty Mugs. Well, this is because this is a custom. I usually really hate customs, but guess what? I don't hate this one. <laughs> I don't like customs because it's just they go up so high sometimes on eBay, and it's, it's just somebody who made it at home. I'm really just a fan of a lot of official license stuff, but I really wanted a Mighty Mugs. <laughs> uh, on uh, Hasbro's website, you can actually order these. This is why they're so easy to do customs of these. You can order these as white or black, and you can paint them yourselves. And you can basically make your own. Now, they don't come with like a gun and a chainsaw. You have to be creative with that, like create that and add it on. But just the general, the, like the body and everything, you can buy it and paint and make your own. 
So this is probably what this person did, I think. Obviously. And made the chainsaw. And what makes Money Mugs special is that it's a paint job. It's not like a, a figure sculpt or anything like that. It's all based on the paint job. So you see this paint job, and then here's the. You can actually take that. You can take the boomstick out of his hand, put it in there. So it's just nice. I love it. I saw another version of Ash about a year ago as a Mighty Mugs. Completely, completely different design, but they're both pretty cool, you know. So this actually went really high on eBay, and the only reason why I won this is because there was this uh, there was this auction beforehand that I was bidding on at the same time that ended first, and I lost it, and I got so angry that. I didn't mind pouring more money into this, and I won it. And I actually barely won it, too, so I was like, whew, whew, barely won it. I love this thing. Ever since I got it, people always comment on it. They're like, oh, it's so cute. I love the design. I love the paint job. It's cute. I know, it's cute in that morbid kind of way. I love the all over them. So, that's it. This is my update for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually have something on its way here and just by saying that maybe you should be able to guess what it might be so uh... when that time comes around i'll be sure to upload a video for you guys to watch i hope you liked my update and since i have some time real quick i'll show you my room <laughs> yes i collect other things other than yeah i love garfield i collect other things of their in evil dead i have a whole bunch of figures I love Bubba Hotep. Phantasm, a huge fan. My statues. So, I have a bunch of these. Yeah, I know the picture's not so great. All my comic books are there. So, I just want to show you that quick. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have yourselves a great day.